Welcome to Learnpedia, the 24 by 7 JE and NEET resource at your fingertips. Let's see if you can answer this actual JE question. If you think you got the answer, post your answer in the comment section below. To know the best way to answer this question, watch this video further. Let us study about spring mass system. Means, like you can see here, that uh, there is one spring connected, it's at the vertical orientation, and there is block connected at the end of the spring. And suppose the spring is in its natural length. And at this point of time, if we slowly release it, then it will start performing oscillation like that. Or even you can do the same with the inverted one. Means there is a fixed floor onto which a vertical spring is there and a block is put on it. And then it is slightly pushed up and then released then what happens like that so that is how it's gonna oscillate as we know that force applied by the spring is k y means if y is the extension then force applied by the spring is k y so mass into acceleration is minus ky so d2y over d2 is minus k by m into y so we can write it like minus omega square into y so omega here angular frequency is k by m so time period of oscillation for spring mass system is 2 pi under root m divided by k because time period of oscillation is what 2 pi by omega all right so here it is that we have learned so far that in case of as a term of angular frequency omega omega is given by under root k by m and time period of oscillation is 2 pi under root m by k and if we talk about the vertical oscillation suppose here is the fixed vertical support and there is one spring attached to the ceiling and there is a block and suppose here somewhere here the spring was in its natural length all right so a spring was at its natural length somewhere here now and at this point of time here the block is at a position where the spring is elongated by a amount y naught and the net force acting on this block has become zero such that ky not is equal to mg so this is equilibrium position of this block all right if we further move the block by a distance of say y then what will be the force applied by the spring it will be k y plus y not of course and the force of gravity mg will also remain as it is and this block will start acceleration a upward due to this restoring force so using newton's laws of motion we can write this equation as k y plus y naught minus mg is equal to mass into acceleration of this block as you know that k y naught is equal to mg from the mean position so k y naught and mg gets cancelled so mass into acceleration remains k into y so a is equal to minus k by m into y we can write because here negative sign negative sign is due to restoring nature of this acceleration all right since acceleration is restoring that is why i put the negative sign otherwise the relation is a is equal to k by m into y so we can compare it with minus omega square into y so omega remains under root k divided by m have you got this point that even if the system is made to oscillate vertical even then angular frequency remains the same in case of horizontal oscillation the, 
the frequency of oscillation or the time period of oscillation is same because here suppose the block is in its natural length and if it is pulled aside by distance y then spring will apply a force of ky and because of this force only the block is going to accelerate so mass into acceleration of this block is equal to ky and we can put the negative sign out here in order to represent this because this is restoring so a becomes minus k by m into y so we can compare it with minus omega square y and omega that we are going to get is same so it doesn't matter whether the system is made to oscillate horizontally or vertically the time period of oscillation in any way is going to remain the same because angular frequency that we have calculated here is same in both the cases so here is something that we have already calculated that for example here the spring is made to oscillate horizontally in this case time period of oscillation is 2 pi under root m by k that we have already derived so here you can see this animation of this block how the block was actually oscillating about its mean position here it is the mean position of this block and it is made to move one way and the other way with the same distance and time period of oscillation is 2 pi under root m by k m is mass of this block and k is spring constant and here also you can see that the block is made to oscillate vertically with a certain value of the amplitude and in case of vertical oscillation also we have uh, calculated the time period of oscillation which is 2 pi under root m by k even in the vertical case the only difference is that in case of horizontal oscillation when the block is in mean position at that position there is no elongation or compression of the spring but when it is in case of vertical oscillation then initially the equilibrium position is where the spring is already elongated by a certain amount say y naught such that k y naught is equal to mg and oscillation is beyond that position so that is the only difference otherwise time period is same in both the cases hey there hope you understood the concept here's the solution to the question asked at the beginning Hit the bell icon below to subscribe to the Learnpedia channel and to learn more through such interesting videos. Learnpedia's JEE and NEET prep tools contain more than 4000 videos and over 20,000 questions. These can be accessed online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also try a free demo of our product before buying.